the stormiest times that I had were my greatest times with God, even at the height of pain. God will preserve me. God chooses our circumstances, but I get to choose my response. And so I said, Lord, thank you for reminding me. There's hope in the big C, because the big C is not the cancer. The big C is Christ in you. My cancer was so aggressive, it went to my 7th and 11th rib. So once it metastasizes to a, another uh, part of the body, you're automatically stage 4. If you're stage 4, you're a gunner. My doctor is a very good doctor. And she was telling me, Aki, you know, I'm a good doctor. I will take care of you. But I'm only a doctor. You are stage 4. I am not God. Only God can heal you. And so when I was thinking about it, I said, Lord, anong ibig sabihin nun? Wala na akong pag-asa. Good morning po. Hi. Check lang po natin dito. Okay. Sige po. Hey, dito po. Kawa? Pounds up po. Yeah. Third chemo mo pa lang, talagang laglag na lahat, no? So you had nothing, you know, you're so thin and frail, and then you're even deformed. There was one time I looked at myself in the mirror, and you know, it was so depressing. I had one medicine that cost about 100,000. And then I had two other medicines, Gemzar and Taxotere, but each one cost 50,000. So that's 200,000 every 21 to 28 days. Eh, paano ka naman mabubuhay doon? My husband came home with an envelope. It had so many things inside. The first thing I saw in that envelope was a 100,000 check. And so I really just cried and cry cried because sahiya ako sa Diyos. I was almost about to fall. And then I felt just a hand, the hand of God, really lift me up. And you know what he told me? I love you, Agnes. You are so precious in my sight. Anybody who goes through cancer, that's the reality. Death is a reality. The difficult part was every week, nanandun ako kasi I would have every week, weekly chemo sessions. And during those times, parati kaming merong namamatay, napupunta sa ICU. So talagang there was a time when I said, Lord, ako na ba ang susunod? You know? Am I the next one? Because I'm stage four already. Yung mga iba nga, di ba? So, but you know, during those times, God would, I would really find myself really just kneeling down and saying, Lord, am I next? When you look at yourself, you look at what you can do or what you cannot do, you really feel so depressed. But when God told me, you look at me, uh, what, what you think is probably not as important as what I think of you. God really asked me, Agnes, Will you give me your life? Will you give me your dreams? Will you give me your hopes? Will you give me everything, right? I will take care of you. At that time, I said, Lord, how can I not? You know, I, everything is yours. God was telling me, Agnes, you've put your life in the best of hands. Then you don't have to worry. I am a God. I am in full control. I was able to tell her what I went through. I reminded her, sabi ko, anak, ako pag nawawala din ako. No? Uh, rather than be angry, I should be thankful that I know God will return it to me. Okay? The purpose is to please God. So, ang tanong natin, are you pleasing God? Are you pleasing God? I was telling God, I said, Lord, sana naman bigyan mo ko ng pagkakataon na magsilbi pa rin sa'yo. Sana naman po, I will have the chance. I don't want to go to heaven. And then, parang sumabit lang ako. The most important thing here is that for you to really max out your days. Kaya, live life to the max. No? That's in John 10, 10. Whether your life is short or it's long, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is how you live it. Stop thinking about adding days to your life. 
rather add life to your days. Every day should be a day of worship. That's how we will max out our lives because the only things that really matter are the ones that are with Jesus. Thank you.